Well, one day I felt like we had him on the ropes a couple different times and didn't finish the job. We didn't play good enough defensively to really finish the job off. And, you know, they came into the game shooting 26% from the three line in the league, but they, that never seems to matter against us because they didn't shoot the ball well all last year either. And then they went into the MAC tournament and shot the ball from the three line in the MAC tournament as well. So I guess we just bring out the best in people. So good team, good win. We'll take the win. Made a couple of defensive blunders when it mattered. Just got to keep getting better. Questions? When you guys, uh, obviously, you still feel you're cheating or something. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, um, the guy, the guy has always had good ability. Couple that with putting a lot of time in the gym. The mind can do some mysterious things to people, right? So a guy that wasn't very confident before, now all of a sudden is confident. He's got an absolute free reign, green light. What am I gonna do? For shooting so far out. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta let guys loose, man. He's loose right now. So now you figure when you're playing with that at the four spot and that monster at the five spot, that's. That's pretty good compared to most people in America. And then our guards are smart enough to deliver the ball to him. I thought Josh Williams, I thought Josh Williams got us going. You know, made some big threes for us. I thought Noah Robotha managed the game well. Really did what he had to do to be a winning point guard, played good defensively. And I thought Antonio Jackson made a couple big plays when it really mattered as well. So, you know. We have a good team. We can play better. We, we still haven't we still haven't done what we need to do. We're gonna keep working at it hard. We still have to mature mentally, mature physically, not let things bother us. Uh, and we have to we have to have higher goals for ourselves. I mean, we, we, we can't just settle on being a good MAC team. We got we got we got to do better than that. I'm saying token. And they kept creaking up on you in the second half. Guys, they weren't. I want, they were unflappable. They didn't let it bother. They 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 stayed in control. It seemed. Well, I mean, look. Juan Cheatham's been here four years. He's won how many games? Over 80, right? At least over 80. Close to 80. Over 80. He's going to win close to 90 games before he's done. I mean, th those experience means something. The thing I like about Quan is he cares about winning. Like, you know, like I told our guys, like, all those individual numbers don't mean anything if you don't win. But you don't think, you don't think people we talk about LeBron being here, you think LeBron's coming if we, if we don't win? He ain't coming if we're three and 18, right? And then, you know, all those reporters are gonna write things and, you know, the national news gets ahead. It doesn't matter. But Marcus Keene's having a great year, but he'd rather have this, right? I think. So we got to keep winning. We got to play better. We got to practice better and play better. I'm not going to let up. Coach, Coach Oates said he told his team if everyone worked in the offseason like Quan did between his junior and senior year, they'd be different players. What do you see about what Quan, how Quan improved from last year to, well, to this year? The ironic thing is Quan worked this hard last year and the year before. His first year probably didn't quite understand it yet. And then from that time on, he spent a lot of time in that gym, man. Like I asked him the other day, I said, Quan, uh, what can give me something I can tell the rest of the guys that are, that are coming into the program as to why you do it. So I, I asked Cedric Middleton the same question because said he was a gym rat. And said he said, I didn't want to have any regrets. And Quan said, hey, even when I'm tired, I know I got to get in if I if I want to get what I what I get right. I'm paraphrasing a little bit, but I think he, I think that's what our program builds. So now you see Danny, you told me in the gym, right? Antonio's always been good in the gym. So if you have good ability like this guy does and a good brain, right, and you put the time in, then that's what happens. Like 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 a lot of people, I I told and I told Quan this like. The area I think he needs to improve the most on is that offensive rebounding, right? If he offensive rebounds, look, at he can play at the next level. 
I've had Ford play at the highest level. Quan Cheatham has the skill set to play at the highest level if he continues to improve at this, at this pace right now. He's got to continue to make his team win. He's got to continue to be a shot blocking present at the rim. He's got to do all the little things uh, to show that he can play at the highest level. But he's 6'10", he's mobile, he can handle the ball, right? He's confident, he can shoot the ball. Um, I think in two years or three years, you're going to see even a better player. Guys get better when they're, and plus uh, the other part of it is he's a year early. I'm bragging about him, but he's a year early, right? He, he should be a, came out of high school a year young, 17 years old in August, right? 17 years old in August. He didn't turn 18 until, what, 8 August, right? So he, he, the following year, right? So my point is, is this guy's just, he, he's just becoming what he should be. Now he's got to get hard into the weight room. He's got to continue to handle the ball, right? He's got to continue to develop that low block game, which he's gotten better at. And he's got the offensive rebound. That was a tangent. That's my <laughs> Quan, how has your confidence changed, you feel like, as your career has progressed? Um, like I said, um, for my sophomore year, I've just been putting time in the gym. And I knew that at one time it was going to click. And I still, I mean, it's, it's like on its way there, but I can just feel it. I just got to keep, like, no let up. Like, this is a good game, but move on to the next game on Tuesday. I just got to keep putting time in the gym and just know that with God, like, anything is possible. So. That's where I stand with that. How deep is your range? <laughs> um, I don't know. I, I really don't even know like where I'd be at on the court when I shoot them. But I know like in practice, like before practice, I get up shots. So and I just be like just shooting from anywhere. Just like if game, like game, like if it happens in the game, then I'm just gonna be ready to shoot it. Keith, you mentioned Josh, and we saw last year he has those spurts that he'll make, and we seem like we saw that tonight with those key threes he made and also some of the plays. Could that be an impetus for him to continue on for the rest of the season? Josh is a good player, right? And we have to do more things to create opportunities for Josh, right? And make him feel good about himself because he's a lot of like Quan. When he feels good about himself, the ball's going in the basket. So we have to do a better job. You're good. We've simplified this thing down to, I mean, nuts and bolts. Play through dog, play through dog. You know, when we need an outside bucket, we can go to different places. But the, our margin of error is bigger because we play through that monster inside. So we're not going to have too many off nights because, you know, it's simple what we do. And we got to play better defensively to really get what we want. And <clears throat> I don't think we're that bad defensively. We're close to being a good defensive team. We just have this tendency to mess things up. We got to do better. And I think, I think, I think we need to play more bench to play better defensively. Uh, I, look, at, we played six guys basically tonight, right? right? And that's a little unlike how we do things here. But Seven. every every team's a little different. But I want to play those guys more. I really do. I think if we play them more, if we play the Manuel Ojapokis, the Dan Utomi, we'll be a little fresher defensively, and that will help us. Quan, do you feel the way this? This streak is going, I don't mean no streak at home, but I mean overall now, going into double digits, that you could be like, I always say a champion gets a target at his back. Do you feel that the team is getting that target because of how well you have been playing, uh, not only through into this part of January and into the max season, that you're going to get the, the opposition's best game every night out now? Uh, I think just coming to this program, like, uh, since he's been here, like, Akron's been on top of the program. So I think every single night since I've been here, we've had, like, the target on our back. We get the best we get the best team that night every single time. Like, they may, they may not play against the other teams like how they play against us. So we're going to get everybody's best shot. I think, like, the streak really doesn't mean nothing. We still take it, like, game by game. We don't we don't get, like, all, like, excited about it because we know, like, at, at any point in time, it's the game of basketball. Any team can sneak up and beat you, so that's it. No, I agree with Juan. I, I... I don't think this has anything to do with us having a target on our back. I felt like for the last seven, eight years we've had a target on our back. Everybody wants to beat the Zips. Right? Whether we win the tournament championship or not, we're, we've been in the hunt to the last week of the season almost every single year. So what I tell our guys is when you come to Akron, as the season goes on, every game becomes more important because they matter more, right? 
So, so every time you win, the game matters more, right? So the way you got to view that is, do you view that as pressure or do you view that as enjoyment? Like I got, like they probably enjoy it more than I do. I got to learn to enjoy it, right? Rather than feel the pressure of it. So during the game, I'm relaxed, but I don't like the pregame. So these guys handle it well, and I agree with them. We get the best shot. Look, Kent State's going to play great against us. Ohio's going to play great. Northern Illinois is going to play great. Bowling Green played great. Everybody plays good against us. Right now, we got to pop them in their mouth so that at some point they don't think they can beat us. See, Buffalo has no fear of us. Right? They don't have any fear. They think physically they're better than us. They think they can punk us. Right? They think athletically. Now, they don't do that to everybody. They don't play every night. Obviously, they didn't play every night last year. It's not a... It's not a, uh, a statement about their team. It's a fact, right? They've got as good a talent as we have. I agree. they got good players, but they don't play every night, right? And so that's what's scary about that MAC tournament, right? Because it would be a game like that, and anybody can win it. That's why we got to win as many games as we can right now and get better. We have to get better from this point to the next point. Good? Quan, Coach, Coach said before you walked in that any team in the country would like to have a duo like you and Isaiah. What does having Isaiah, knowing that teams have to key so much on him, how does that change your mentality about when you're when you're going about things on the court? Uh, what's so what's so crazy about that? Um, I was a senior in high school, and me and me and Big Dog were in Cincinnati. So Big Dog committed like probably like two hours before I did, and I just told Coach D that he was one of the main reasons why I wanted to go there because I knew that with time he was going to be a problem down there. So teams were going to have to like focus on him, and then. I can just do what I do, do what I've been doing since I was a young boy, just shooting. And so, and then me and Big Dog like develop a chemistry, like us just going through school together, getting done in three years, both both being in grad school. So it's just been like we've been tight, even though we're not that tight off the court. But when it comes to basketball, we both have like a goal, and that's just to let our team win as many games as possible, and we're gonna get what we get at the end of the season. Proud of this guy. Thank you, thank you, John. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.